Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everyone back to another video. And today, I'm going to be doing a collection update. And I know you guys are thinking, oh my god, wait a minute, it's Thursday, why are you doing a collection update? <laughs> um, I wanted to do <clears throat> this video to get out, um, to, number one, to do a video. I know this week, I, again, I excuse me, have not done any videos. I just, this week again was, was crazy with work and, and everything. And of course, trying to shove everything in before Christmas break, as they always try to do. And tomorrow is going to be another long day, um, as always. But tomorrow night, I will be on an airplane heading home. So, something just finished downloading. So, I can't complain uh, too, too much. I just need to get through kind of the first part of the day tomorrow and everything else will be cream cheese. So there you go. Um, but I wanted to do this video. I, uh, like I said, I did get uh, one thing in the mail. Another thing is coming, but I don't think it's going to be here um, in time tomorrow. So I'll just have to include that in a video when um, I get back from Christmas break. And actually, I just... The, today was a long day. We were at the range, but I did get some trigger time in, which is nice. And went out and got some Taco Bell with a friend and stopped at the entertainment mart to kind of hit it one more time before I leave for Christmas. I did pick up uh, one Blu-ray that I was looking for and a couple other, and I got some DVDs, some other things. So uh, let's just go ahead and show off a couple things before I head off. First up, I got this in the mail. If stuff would not fall down when I go to grab it, that would be amazing. Um, this movie needs no introduction. It is a uh, action classic and a Sylvester Stallone classic. And it is none other than Cliffhanger. Um, for some reason, for some reason, I can I could not find this anywhere in stores. I could not find it at Entertainment Mart. I could not find it at Independent Records. Nowhere. I couldn't you know find this movie on Blu-ray anywhere and uh, I decided just to go on eBay and pick it up and I found a really cheap copy for six bucks used so now I have the uh, the classic known as Cliffhanger on Blu-ray again a movie that needs no introduction and for some reason I don't know if it's out of print or what the case is but um, I do notice that it, it's going for a little bit more pricey a little bit more expensive prices on uh, on eBay for some reason, so I don't know if the movie's out of print on Blu-ray. I mean, it is um, from Columbia TriStar, so I mean, a lot of a lot of their stuff they put out on Blu-ray very kind of limitedly, and then it, it goes out of print, like Warner Brothers does. Warner Brothers will put stuff out for a small amount of time on Blu-ray, and then it goes out of print, and then it's hard to find. Like Get Carter, another great Stallone movie. Um, but yeah, I finally just. Kind of got tired of waiting around to find it in stores and picked it up. So there you go. And um, the other Blu-ray that I got, I just picked up at Entertain Mart, is a, excuse me, a TV show season. And it is Doctor Who, Tom Baker, Complete Season 1. Um, I was very happy to hear that they, BBC, finally got their head out of their ass and started doing, uh, season sets of the old Doctor Who in America because overseas in Germany and, and plenty of other places they did it the right way and I'm glad they started putting them out on Blu-ray. Um, I am looking forward to checking this out very much. Um, it On here it has uh, Robots, The Ark in Space, The Sontarian Experiment, Genesis of the Daleks, and Revenge of the Cybermen. So that's all the stories that are included here. I think, I, I know I have the Sontarian Experiment. I think that might be the only one from Tom Baker's first season that I have. And on here you have uh, brand new extra features. You have some new stuff with Tom Baker, which is cool. You have the TV movie version of Genesis of the Daleks, which has not been seen since its original broadcast. The Tom Baker Years, which was a VHS documentary that came out back in 1991. And then it has stuff from the DVDs that were put out. So there you go. But again, 
I've been wanting to get this since they announced it. You know, BBC finally got their head out of their ass and did it this way. And I hope to see more of these one day. Um, not just Tom Baker, but the rest of the classic Doctor Who stuff. Again, I will still keep my DVDs because it is Doctor Who. Um, but, you know, it's nice to finally have them on Blu-ray. The original ones, at least. <sighs> it's almost time for bed, ladies and gentlemen. And I did get, uh, also tonight at Entertain More, and I picked up three movies on DVD and one wrestling DVD. First up, I got The Marksman with Wesley Snipes. Um, this is a Wesley Snipes directed DVD movie um, that I did not mind. I did not mind this one. Um, you know, Wesley Snipes directed DVD stuff is very hit and miss, just like the Steven Seagal stuff, because they suffer from the same problems. Um... A lot of the Wesley Snipes directed DVD stuff has a lot of body doubles, you know, and, and a lot of it is kind of like the Seagal shit where Snipes is just kind of phoning it in. Uh, but this one I didn't mind. There's a little bit of the body doubles and stuff in here, but most of this movie is Wesley Snipes, and I did not pay 20 bucks. I paid 4 bucks, And it's still brand new factory sealed, so I can't complain about that, you know, for 4 bucks. I figured, why the hell not? So that is The Marksman with Wesley. Go, Wesley. Go, Wesley. That's from uh, Who's the Man. And then ne next up, I found this in the uh, 99-cent bin in Entertain Mart. It is Fever Lake with Corey Haim and Mario Lopez. This is a 90s horror film, which I've never seen. Um, I'm always trying to get more Corey Haim stuff. I, I always enjoyed Corey Haim as an actor. Uh Huge shame that we lost him. Uh, you know, he was only 38. He was still young. And um, just an actor that I've always enjoyed. And, and I want to get more of his movies. And again, this was 99 cents. So if I don't like it, cool. I'll just trade it back in. And if I do like it, I'll hold on to it. So we'll see what happens with uh, Fever Lake. Uh, moving on. Next up, I got striking distance for a dollar 99 um, this is a direct to dvd action film starring ldp lou diamond phillips who i've always been a big fan of yancey butler is also in the movie from uh hard target and witchblade and drop zone and jeff speakman is in this which is a reason why i want to check it out jeff speakman actually plays a bad guy in this movie so i wanted to check it out um for that, but also, again, I like Lou Diamond Phillips and also uh, Yancey Butler. And Tom Wright is in the film. And Tom Wright was the Jamaican cop from Mark for Death with Steven Seagal. So, um, you know, I do like him as an actor as well. I've seen him in some other stuff. Um, and this is an old blockbuster case, which is why I got it. And it was only $1.99. So if I don't like the movie, it, it wasn't that big of a loss. But this movie is written and directed by a guy named uh, Daniel uh, Millican, who did another Jeff Speakman movie called The Gunman, which I did not like. Um, it just, I think the movie was really miscast. Uh, Jeff Speakman, I didn't mind Jeff Speakman in the movie. He had a small role as a karate instructor, so that was cool to see. But the, overall, the movie was kind of lousy, and I didn't care for it. Um, so maybe this one will be better. Again, um, it was only a buck ninety nine, and uh, you know Lou Diamond Phillips is the hero, so I can't really kind of go wrong with that. You know, I've always again uh, liked Lou Diamond Phillips as an actor, and uh, looking forward to checking that out. And last but certainly not least, um, I did get one wrestling DVD, and it's actually Ring of Honor, and this is Crowning a Champion. This is the remastered edition. And this is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania from July 27th, 2002. So when Ring of Honor was still kind of brand new. Um, 99 cents. I saw it the other night and I kind of already got what I wanted. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. So that's why I wanted to go back tonight. I really wanted to get this and the Doctor Who Blu-ray. Uh, so that's why I went in tonight. But yeah, um, I never really got into Ring of Honor. Um, I had one... DVD long ago when they they got a deal to do DVDs not like this is internal this is made by Ring of Honor um, which most of their stuff still is but they did have a distribution deal for a little bit for DVDs and 
I had one of those, which was like a best of Ring of Honor. And I did like what I saw, but for some stupid reason, I got rid of the DVD. Um, but yeah, particularly the early Ring of Honor when guys like uh, Daniel Bryan, when he was known as Bryan Danielson, his real name was still there. And, and kind of the, the homegrown guys were still there. Um, so looking forward to checking that out. Again, it was only 99 cents. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys. Um, I wanted to do this little collection update for everyone, number one, just to do a video, and number two, to just show off mostly the stuff that I got today at Entertain Mart and the one item that I did get in the mail. Um, yeah, heading home tomorrow night, uh, I will definitely do more videos at home, maybe, I don't know what, but I will do more videos at home because I will have time to do them, you know, and, um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I know kind of just spitballing here, and I am obviously very tired. But I wanted to crank this video out for you guys tonight before I head back tomorrow. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. And uh, the next video that I'll do, I'll be at home. So definitely looking forward to that.